Hello, welcome to Angie's Craft Corner. Today, May May is saying hi, y'all. Look up it. And uh, she's being a pill. But she's a sweet pill. Uh, anyways, with that being said, she's just being May May. And uh, she's into everything today. And mostly my fingers. But say it bye. Say see ya. Because I'm going to put her down. She is so active. When I. I forgot how active a dog is. Or a puppy is. It's been so long since I've been around them. But today we are going to. Do something. Let me move this up. A little bit different than normal. I'm going to recreate this card, but I'm using an off-white instead of the white. To see if it does come out like I want it to. We, you know, you play yarn. And, uh, I use hot glue again on this. So... Anyways, we're going to we're gonna play and see what we can come up with. Uh, the It is a May May Made It Stamp. It is a, a Manda, Mandy's Tulips is the name of the set. As you can tell, I have used it a few times because my ink has stained it. But I'm okay with that. I mean, it's just part of stamping. So... Anyways, we're going to get busy. And I may not make it exactly like this because I've got a new idea. But that's this is one way of using the stamps. I use the uh, glitter Nevo drops also on this up here. And I think that's it. So, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what kind of mess we can make today. And yes, my mate is underneath my feet, so if I yeah, y'all know why. Yes. And I'm using stay, stay Zone Black Ink. I still think it stinks. Is anybody else with me on that? Whoops. I'm going to use this tulip bulb also in this. And I'm not sure what my mate She's in this stuff, yes. Now, if you have a Misty, this is probably be a good time to use it on these. I have a one that I created myself. And I like it. It's just, I don't use it a lot because I forget about it. I'm using Crushed Cherry from uh, Stampin' Up! Also. Thank <laughs> you. 
and she is playing with her ball. If y'all hear her in the background. Um, I think I've done this wrong. Oh, well, life goes on. She is having fun, y'all. Okay, so let's scratch, scratch, scratch that. I did it totally wrong. Thought I did. Okay, so we're going to just use this. with the yellow um uh, crushed cherry and the I think it's pumpkin pie from stamping it. We may redo that. My my what are you doing? She's into something. She's playing with a ball. I'm just going to use the back of this. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. I know some people would panic and say, no, don't do it. But <clears throat> I wish I had half of her energy. I really do. Okay, I'm going to just go back and use my yellow. I wanted to begin with. <laughs> well, I say that.
Ah. He... Okay, I need to wake it. get ink on them like I do? Or is it just me? Okay, we're going to cut these out. We're going to do some fussy cutting. I use uh, the Paper Studio little uh, fussy cut scissors. I found them to be just as good as some of the expensive ones. I like them. Don't mean everybody does. And as bad as I am to lose them. I get them when they half off. A Hobby Lobby. So how's everyone doing today? It's uh, like four o'clock in the morning here while I'm I'm filming this video, but I'll have it scheduled till about ten one day. Uh, I woke up and couldn't sleep, so I decided I'd come out to the craft room and do a video and get, let May May out of the cage where she can use the bathroom and play a little while. And that's exactly what she's done. So she, I think she's about wore herself out again. She's eight weeks old, if people's wondering. And she's a mess. But she's been a, a joy to me. She is a craft room dog. That's where she stays. I'm in the craft room that much. We, I create her at night. She loves to be outside with a big dog. A big dog just, she's, she's got 12 puppies. So, and no, she does not think my maid's one for puppies, let me tell you. She tolerates my maid. She's our guard dog that is outside. She is so big. <coughs>
Okay, my keyboard's going crazy. And yes, you can hear the hero in the background. Okay, I've about got these cut out. Um, I did pause it while I cut a few of them out. Because I'm sure y'all don't want to see me doing all this. <clears throat> I cut out 12 of these suckers. But the ones that is messed up will go on bottom. Because I'm doing a two um, raised images. I'm using hot glue to do this uh, instead of foam foam dots and all I do it don't raise it too high but it raises it just enough and the good thing of it with hot glue it don't bend if you mail on it I have Come to realize. You just map on your fingers. You're like I am. That's all I'm doing is putting a pretty good sized dot on it. I'm making sure this is the one I'm needing. She's into something. I'm just not for sure what, y'all.
I'm just stamping my stems onto a piece of cardstock. I'm just chewing on my pants leg. My, my. Oh, this dog's about to drive me nuts this morning. So she's into everything this morning, y'all. And to glue this on, I'm going to just use hot glue, um, but just not as much as I did earlier. Ouch. <clears throat> and I'm going to put Happy Springs and everything. With the pumpkin pie. Okay, I'm gonna ink. I'm gonna take my ink pad, and I'm just gonna ink around the edges, just like so. Taking a half sheet of eight and a half by eleven cardstock of the same color, and making my card base. And I'm going to use just a little bit of hot glue on this. If you got hot glue, you can do, you just you can make cards just just as good as you got 
um, arc metal glue, you've got um, ATG tape. It's just takes a little bit longer to dry and be careful not burn yourself. I'm going to give it three big old little dots. And this takes a while to dry, so if it's a card that you need to get done fast, I advise you not to use these. They are neat. I mean, I'm taking my uh, Wink of Stella brush and just giving these the tulips some um, little. that when it's stuck. Glue it on good. Mm. Oh, stay that time. Okay. And though we have it, um, cute little simple card and like I said you can use hot glue again if you don't have the other type of tape for glues or whatever and I've been known to use hot glue a lot if you don't have the foam dots or foam tape you can use hot glue to make it stand out I hope you enjoy this little quick video um Thank you for joining Angie's Craft Corner today and have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.